Howie everyone! Oh, howie everyone! It's such a sad day. It's our final time, our final class together. Hopefully, you're not too upset like are you over here. Hopefully, you're feeling okay today. Uh, I just want to say thank you for everybody's participation this semester. Everybody's doing a great job and it's been a wonderful experience to see you this way. However, I would prefer to have face-to-face -face classes because I think it's such a better connection between us all. But for today's class, I'm just going to do a couple of things. I'm going to go through the exam prep, so we're going to review for the exam. I'll explain about how the exam works. And then finally, I'll just say goodbye to you. So, let's move along. The first thing and the most important thing is that I'm going to do this exam on June 22nd. That's Monday. And I'm going to do it at night time, which is 6 p.m. So this is not in our class time. And I'm going to do the test at this time, just so that we can all take the test at the same time. We can all take the test, you can all get a great score, so don't be late. You'll have 50 minutes to complete the test, but you will have like a maximum of one hour time between 6 and 7 in case there's any connection problems with e-class. So remember the date, it's a date, Ta -da. let's go on. First of all, there was page 111 and we had go, do and play. We will be using uh, this. So while I usually do this in class time, today's activity is all online. All you have to do is fill in the blanks on here. One, two, three, four, five. Write down your answers. Check that you know how to do it. Today's class is review. I've given you the sentences that are all mixed up and you just have to put them together. So remember, you go and do something and then it's ing like this. Do an activity, play a sport, like the noun of the, uh, the the noun form of it. So you'll be able to put them in. So what I'd like you to try to do is to pause me now, and hopefully you have completed it. So now you just have to give me the answers. You've written them on your paper or you've typed them. Let's go. We like to play soccer on the weekend. I go camping on Sundays. She plays ping pong in Seoul. We'll do yoga in Pundang with Fraser. I never do yoga. And finally, she goes bowling once a week. So hopefully you've written this down. Remember, go form goes because it's she. So hopefully you got them all right. Let's go on to the next part. Page 114, I've just condensed it all into some question forms. So all you have to do is just ask questions. This is easy. What food do you hate to eat? What class do you like to go to? What do you need to prepare before class? What would you like to do tonight? What did you forget to do over the weekend? What did you learn in class? Which game do you like? What grade do you need in English class? A? Maybe A? And do you like to play Battleground? So as you can see, we have like to play, like something, just the like with the noun form. This is just practicing whether you can use the right form. All I would like you to do is to write your answers on your worksheet. So when you go to your worksheet, just write in your answer here or type in your answer, but put a full sentence. In the final test, you will have to, that's right, uh -huh, write a full answer, not just a short one. So just practice this week, write the full answer. So pause me now. And let's go on. So you've written all of your answers. Let's go on to the next part. So the grammar's done. Next one, it's all about you using the vocabulary words. So all you have to do is write answers down for you. Is your mom messy or are they organized? Oh, organized, remember, puts them in order. Who do you know that is ambitious? Remember, who wants to be number one all the time? Which of your friends is very impulsive? So, coupe. Always like, I want to do it, like straight away, no thinking. Which of your friends can be selfish? So remember, only think about themselves. When was the last time you were careless, like made a mistake? Who is a very laid back person? Easy going, no stress. When was the last time you were generous? Giving something to someone. Are you very talkative? Are you very competitive? 
do you hate to lose? So competitive is like fighting. Yeah, I want to win. I want to win like that. Again, all you need to do today's class, usually we would do this as a conversation exercise. Today we can't because of the problems that we have with this semester. So please just type in your answers for each one. Try to use the words, remember the spellings, because that will be important when you write your answers on the final test. So pause it now and let's move along to the next one. Okay. Page 125 was talking about this uh, difference from last year. So all you need to do on your worksheet is to write down kind of the opposite. So just look at the sentence and try to write an opposite sentence. So here, one, two, three, four, five. All you need to do is write the opposite to what you see using the words from page 125. So think last year I earned less money, then think about what would be the opposite using the words in the book to this. Last year I was thin. Last year I stopped drinking alcohol. Last year he was out of shape. Last year I didn't have a job. Now I'd like you to write down your answer and then you can check with mine. Now your English might be correct and I might have used a specific expression, but it's just an example. So pause me now. And let's go through the first one. So last year I earned less money. Now I earn more money. So earned, earn, like get money. Last year I was thin. This year I have gained weight. So this time gained weight. Next one. This year I started to drink alcohol every day. Bad guy. All right. So don't worry if your answer is different. It's okay. But this time start to do something. Stop to do something. This year he is in good shape. Out of shape, like overweight, fat, unhealthy. Good shape, like muscles and, you know, like in thin condition. Last year I didn't have a job. Guess what? Now I have found a new job. So in this case, a new job like that. So didn't have a job, found a job. You find it, found it, depending on the tense, everything's okay. So hopefully you got that right. Guess what? Move along. Now, howie, I'm over here. Uh, remember, page 130 was just using those words um, from the students. Uh, and for example, like, how long does it take to get ready in the morning? Remember, get ready, like put on your makeup, have a shower, brush your teeth, like that. Do you think you are in good shape these days or are you out of shape? So I've combined some of the words from another page as well. But you can see it's understandable. Are you in good shape or out of shape? If you were getting ready to graduate, what job would you want? So getting ready to graduate. What gives you so much stress so you can't take it anymore? So when you get lots of stress, you can't take it. It means you want to stop. So it means what gives you a lot of stress? So like you become like stressed out, like really bad. English. Next time, how much money is enough to make in a job? Like making money. So using the words from before. Okay, so how much money is enough to make in a job? Have you ever gained weight? Did you manage to lose it too? So maybe you got a bit bigger and then you diet and it goes down. Just you can write down yes or no answers. And again, the idea is on your worksheet. They are all here, same questions. So gained it, lose it, easy to do. So. I've just put a couple of the words from 130 and I put a couple from before as well and 125 to make these. So pause me and move along. Page 128 was like to versus would like to. So which woman has visited Australia? Which woman hasn't? We did that from the textbook. And we could see on page 128, one of them said, I like to, da 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 which means it's true for now. I like to is talking about now. Would like to is talking about things in the future, something we want to do in the future. Example, I like to teach my students. You are so smart, that's now. I would like to go home at 5 p.m. today. I can't, I have classes. 
So would like to is talking about the future. When we make a question, would you comes first. Would you like to like that? Would you like to? Da, 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 da. So in this case, the subject comes next. So would you like to like that? Do you like the big one? So when we give you would, we usually give you a choice. Would you like this one or this one? But when we use do, it's usually for just one option. Do you want the big one? And then yes or no. So like that. Would you is used when we're giving two choices. Now let's take a short break. Pengsu knows what's up, so everybody take a short break. Okay, the next part is about page 134, the future, using be going to. So the be form of the verb, I am, she is, he is, you, we, they are. So the be part, and then using going to and the base form of the verb. We're using this for talking about future plans that we've made or an intention like what we're going to do or we use it for guessing something so for example Manchester United is going to win the game Never. Mengu hmm. alright so as you can see there going to and the verb in this case I'm going to fly to Mexico and then at the very end you need the time because it's in the future so we need to know when so I'm gonna to fly to Mexico this evening this summer next week next month all of these will explain everything so remember subjects and the B part going to followed by base form of the verb and then whatever you're doing and or where and finally this part here is the time. So all I did was make a couple of simple questions. I know you're probably thinking, Fraser, so many questions today. But your questions are here. You just have to write down a couple of examples and answers for you. So let's think, what are you going to do after the exams? When are you going to take a trip to the beach? When are you going to get married? Ever? So this is in the future, but maybe you don't want to get married ever, so you'd be like, never. That's okay. When are you going to take time off from studying? Remember, take time off means to take a break. So when are you going to take, a time, uh, take time off? Maybe in summer vacation. So just pause me now. And let's move on to the next one. You've written your answers on the worksheet, so let's go. The next part was about present continuous, the grammar. Talking about things and arrangements we have already made. So for example, do you want to go to the concert with me? I'm seeing a movie tonight. What are you seeing? I'm seeing Wonder Woman. So the idea is when we use this grammar, we're using usually present continuous is talking about now. For example, I am talking now. I'm watching YouTube now, or you are watching YouTube now. That's happening right now. But in this case, the grammar, I am seeing, we use a time. This time can make it the future. So I'm seeing a movie tonight. Tonight is in the future. It's not now. So this is talking about the future. If they said, do you want to go to the concert with me? I'm seeing a movie tonight. The future, it means I can't do that. What are you seeing? So this sentence and this sentence follows each other. We're still talking about the future. I am seeing Wonder Woman tonight, like this. So this here, I am seeing, is still talking about the future. So even though the present continuous talks about something that's happening now, page 174, we're using it for talking about future events. So all you have to remember is there's usually a time and that will tell you that it's talking about the future. In the test, you need to look at the sentences and follow the dialogue. If the dialogue says like this, then you would write down future. If it says, I'm eating ramen now, 
then you you write down present. So when is the present happening now? You write down present. When is the future? You write down future. Okay. Page 180 is talking about ing ed for adjectives. So conveying emotion or feeling, I am or I feel, then here the adjective needs a ed. I am bored. I am exhausted. Surprised, interested like this. They all finish with ed when it's talking about I. I am. You are bored. I am bored like that. We're not bored. I love you. So remember, ED is talking about how you feel. ING is talking about the reason, the cause of the emotion. So, for example, this movie is boring. I am bored. Remember, as I said in class time, if you say, I am boring, it means you are no jam. It's a bad thing to say about you. You say to somebody, oh, hi, I am boring. Then they probably don't talk to you again because you're so boring. Terrible. Ah. So that's why when we do this, remember, ED is for you, the person. ING, talking about the reason for this. So all you need to do is go to your worksheet. The questions are there. The questions are here. And you just have to write down the answers to the question. So, what final test are you most worried about? I am worried about blah blah blah. Which of your friends is annoying? Scott is annoying. <laughs> Next one. Which was the most entertaining class this semester? I will check your answer carefully. Hmm. Next one. What movie was the most boring this year? Blah, blah, blah was boring this year. What TV show made you confused? Remember, I don't understand. Blah, blah made me confused. Who is the most frightening person you know? Fraser is the most frightening person. <laughs> Next one. Which movie makes you excited? And you can not put down blah, blah, blah makes me excited. Each one of these, just type your answer or write your answer, whichever you're doing, and then guess what? You can do it and send it all to me. So, pause me now. Howie, everyone, and now it's the final part of class. What is going to be on the test? Now, first of all, the time. As I told you, it's at 6 p.m. June 22nd. And you're taking the test, it should be 50 minutes. So E-Class, once you open it, you have 50 minutes to write the answers down. I will give one hour time. So from 6 until 7 p.m., you can take the test. So that's in case there's a server error with E-Class or there's some issue. But that is how I'm going to do the test, 50 minutes. So there are 50 questions on this test. You need to just fill in four questions using do, play, and go, how to take the test. So this is easy. There's four questions like that. The next one, there's choose the correct one. Three questions. I like, and then it says to play or play soccer. So you're going to have to know whether to use the correct uh, form with to play or just play and then write it down. So that's page 114. So I like to play soccer is correct. Next one, correct the grammar mistakes. So there's three questions. Could you learn speak English? That's not right. Correct would be, could you learn to speak English? You need to write the full sentence. So write the full sentence when you do this, please. Next one, six questions to fill in the blanks with correct vocab. 116 to 117. Spelling is important. If you don't put in the correct spelling, E-Class will mark you wrong. So just put in the words, spelling is important. No chances with the spelling. Next one, fill in eight blanks with the correct expressions. This is page 125 and 130. The next one, fill in four blanks with the correct grammar choice. Would you like to? Do you like for one thing? This is about the questions, remember. Would you like to is giving a choice. Would you like to, da-da-da, or da-da-da. 
do you like is just for one thing so this is page 128 so remember question form do you like for one thing or would you like two when you have a choice of two things next one you're gonna have to write six sentences use going to three sentences and three sentences not going to this is page 134 so they will give you a table to answer this so you have to write a sh uh, to write two sentences for each one for example Fraser is going to go home this summer Fraser isn't going to stay in Mohyon so there'll be a table and then you just look at the table and then you write the sentence one going to one not going to so you'll have to write two sentences carefully because e-class doesn't accept mistakes so be careful next one the next one is talking about six blanks filling it in with present tense or future tense i explained it in today's class so this is an example what are you doing at the moment so they're using the present continuous are you doing ing for now the present so if you saw this sentence you would write present the second one i'm watching tv present happening now another new spider-man movie is coming out soon so gebon coming out soon that's the future so you can see ing is ing no problem we're saying soon it's talking about the future so you saw if you saw this sentence you would write down future or type. We are doing our homework next week. Time next week. We know it's the future. So you'll have a dialogue. You need to write down whether it's the present, whether it's the future for each sentence. So look at the sentence and write it down. Finally, you can see the last parts are six questions choosing the correct ED or ING ending. Action movies are not really for me. So we're talking about something else, the action movies, so it's exciting. I get, so it's talking about you or I, I get when I see Fraser speak Korean. I get surprised because it's talking about how you feel. The next one, put in three kinds of movies in the blank. So from page 171, da-da-da, movie has lots of violence and fighting. Da-da-da, movie is about the future. So use it correctly, be careful how you type. Okay, everyone, I'm back over here a little bit different, but the most important thing is about the writing book. Now, the professor's choice has been to use one question about unit four from page 83, and one from unit 5 page 115 so even if you don't have the textbooks you can just go over the youtube videos again and check it out and then you'll be able to find the answers just make notes for those pages so the actual writing writing part where you're going to actually have to type or have an answer ready is unit 3 and i told you unit 3 is on the final exam they're going to get you to write your own comparison of two friends. So in the box, you're going to need to write down about two friends. So first of all, remember, this is two points for writing two things. One to describe the difference. Two is to use a comparing point. So let me show you an example. When you write this, you have to write down what you are doing. This is your topic sentence. So I will compare my friends, Fraser and... So this is saying what you are doing. So write down your two friends' names. So the topic sentence needs to include what you're doing and who is being compared. Second, Fraser is kind, however, is always angry. So Fraser is kind, so that's the comparing point kind however however is showing the difference that is the comparing point so you're comparing using however yet the other something like this is showing the difference so Fraser is kind however so is angry 
Second of all, is very funny, yet Fraser is no jam. So as I said, Fraser is no jam. In this case, I've used yet to show difference, comparison. I'm showing the differences. So that is the test. Everybody, I just want to say good luck. I know that you can do it. I know that you have a chance to get a great score this semester. In English, we always say like, good luck. I know you can do it. Just try your best. If you have any problems, please email me, Kakao talk me. Some of you have my Instagram, you can DM me. I don't care. If you have a question, please just ask me. I will help you get the best score possible. That's all I can say, all right? Don't worry, everything that we studied today, I've highlighted special things today too. They are gonna be on the test. There are some other words that you may need from the pages that I've taken. So not everything that we just did today is on the test. There are some other things, but I couldn't do every question or do everything. Otherwise, the test would be too easy. So if you have any problems, you have to tell me and tell me early. If you tell me late or after the fact, like you tell me on Tuesday, oh, I was sick yesterday. It's not okay. I need to know straight away if there's any problem so I can try to give you something to do. As I said, don't worry. Even though this test is from another professor, just try your best. There's 50 questions, 50 minutes to take the test. You can get a great score. You can check this video. It will help you get a great score. I've told you how to take the test. I've told you what's going to be on there, the page numbers, giving you some example practices that are very similar to the test, you know, the kind of questions. So don't stress, just do your best. And finally, this is our last class. So it is goodbye from me. Uh, honestly, I've had a very different semester because I want to see you face to face. Having class together is a hundred times. Bet pro war it's just so much better to be together in person we have real relationships of talking together you know real connections because we're seeing each other so i really miss having face-to-face -face classes this semester has been really hard for some of you because of you know zoom class or you know like the getting you know ready for classes because of the internet but everybody has tried their best and everybody has made me feel proud because you've been great students. I'm really happy and lucky to have such wonderful students like you. So I have to do this as a general message, but it's true. I've had a great time, even for students who didn't understand everything. It's not a problem. I want you to have a good class, understand and hopefully improve your English and get better. Next semester, I hope that we have another chance to see each other and I hope we can take a class together. So don't be stressed and don't be worried and be like, hing, it's over. Because you can always, and I really mean this, you can always message me on Kakao Talk, on Facebook, Instagram, I don't care, anything is okay. If you want to ask me something, I'm always here to help you. You're always my student. I won't forget you. You guys have been great this semester. Some of you have sent me messages in Kakao Talk or emails, as they say, IG, everywhere. And that's no problem because uh, I want to help you. If you have a problem, talk to me. Everybody, I'm going to miss you. Uh, you've all done a great job. And I just have one final thing to say. Originally, when I made my name for all my accounts, it was no gem, Fraser. But my students told me to change it. So. So maybe the real part of me is no jam, but hopefully this class has been a little you jam and you've had a little bit of fun this semester. Hopefully next semester we'll have a full class together and we'll have a great time then. Everybody, take care of yourself, be safe. I'm going to miss you and I, I really will miss you. So bye now everybody, take care.